Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. Um, in this video we'll show you uh, a quite easy setup to keep your phone screen off when you're using a deck station. First of all let me show you why this is um, could be useful. As an example of what you see in front of you uh, my Note 9 connected to a deck station and everything is fine. Uh, I have a deck station running, I can do whatever I want on deck station go watch videos, Netflix, reply to comments, etc, etc, it's all fine. But this phone screen is on as well. Obviously, if I go to a settings under display, um, at the moment, what is it, uh, timeout is set to one minute. As you can see, it's set to one minute. I can obviously do a 15 seconds and after 15 seconds, the phone screen will be turned off automatically. That is fine, but the problem with that is if I'll force it to phone to be off as you can see phone screen is off and I will open let's say a browser open a browser I'm gonna start typing something as you can see screen is turned on and I done typing close it the screen stays on until the time expires uh, it comes down to zero so from one minute from 30 seconds from 15 seconds and the screen will turn off again that's fine so uh, let's say I will open a word processing app uh, so let's open a new one screen is on I will turn it off start typing screen goes on and it's annoying and again screen on and off on and off and then let's say I will forget that the phone is actually even exist while I'm using Dex and the screen will be on and obviously will consume battery might be uh, after a long period of time will be some defect to the screen burn pixels etc etc and so on um, so this is not the great idea to to um, to to misuse decks I hopefully Samsung by the way will do this in the future and will we'll fix this problem and let's say have a switch somewhere on a Dex environment where you can say always keep the phone screen off doesn't matter what and on the manually turn the screen on if you require so the setup that I will show you is involves two apps first let me open the Google Play Store so open a Google Play Store so I hope you can see the camera is not locking the first one will be black screen I search for black screen and the app I'm using this is this black screen a simple black screen app what this app does is basically when you run this app, and I will demonstrate this right now on my phone, this is where the, the app is. As you can see, it just says black screen and no icon. Obviously, icon is black icon with the black background is all blends in. But if I run this app, the phone screen goes entirely black and the f screen is still active, but the, 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 the app is running over it and that's why I see on the black screen. So let's minimize that. So that's fine. So app is running, but again, as you can, as as I demonstrated earlier, under display, uh, there is a timeout set to one minute. What that means, even if this app is running, the phone will go into sleep mode after one minute, and that can cause other problems. Like if you're gaming, and you know, um, if you're a Dex user, hardcore Dex user, you will know that sometimes when a screen, uh, not sometimes, I mean, always happens when the screen goes off and when a phone goes into sleep mode. You lose the controller functionality and then you need to activate your phone or turn the phone on to be able to continue playing otherwise the controller some of the controller keys will stop working so how to go around this first app as I said you need a black screen app obviously not exactly the same one that I'm, 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 demonst I'm, I'm showing you you can do use any any of them I chose this because simple is easy no ads no app purchases no no these shenanigans so it works fine another app that uh, I'm using for this setup is called keep screen on keep screen on and I'm using uh, what is it? this app again no in-app purchases, no ads, nothing. It just does exactly what I needed to do. And what this app does, if I'll open this app on my phone, so keep screen on, it gives me a list of apps that is currently installed on my phone. And I can pick any of these apps. Let's say, for example, I'll pick uh, any desk. If I tap any desk, I have a sun icon appears on the, next to it on the right-hand side. That means that if this app is running, I will 
basically um, the phone not go to a sleep mode and as always the phone will be active so if I scroll down under black screen as you can see I have a sun next to it so what that means every time I run black screen app the, the app called sleep screen on activates and keeps my phone active awake not when not going to sleep mode and same time the black screen app runs and it keeps my phones black as you know uh, Samsung phones has a, a magic screen a magic display where if a pixel is black is actually turned off so right now all the entire screen is black it means every single pixel on my phone screen is off it helps uh, on a battery life is charging faster when in the dex mode and I don't need to worry about losing the key controller connection while I'm playing game so right now it's all fine uh, and under dex notifications you can see by here there is this uh, keep screen on app and notifications when it says keep screen on is on and that's fine um, a small issue with this kind of setup if you go to your multitasking uh, I have a bunch of apps open here and one of them is this app called keep black screen if I cl close it it's actually closed on the phone as well because obviously phone is a dex dex is a phone so it's one device to different to different uh, screens so this bear in mind if you're running a keep screen uh, black screen and all this setup under multitasking uh, make sure that you don't close that or if you close it obviously you need to go and reactivate again so this is how it runs um, actually one thing I'm gonna try now and not tried before what if I'm gonna run this on Dex okay it just runs on a Dex I wonder if it's gonna run on the phone anyway it's a, just a, a side test so here you go black screen app with keep screen on two apps combined does that and um, I'm actually using this quite a lot lately when I want to do something and, 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 and control and even let's say I'm going typing the text as you can see just a small bar at the bottom appears but it doesn't wake the screen on it doesn't um, doesn't activate a full screen so I stop typing close it fine it goes entirely black let's say if I open the same uh, app that I done before used before which is create a document so if I open up so uh, let's say you type it you got this white line at the bottom which is fine it's not the deal breaker but after I finish typing the all screen goes back to a black uh, overlay it doesn't I don't need to turn the phone on and off manually and it's, it's, it's quite a nifty nifty setup I hope this helps um, this is one of our quite a <laughs> I hope like I said this will be fixed uh, or something better will be implemented by Samsung because um, when I'm using my HP Elite lab dock with my phone even if when let's say Elite lab dock charging my phone but when the phone screen goes on off on off uh, the battery is not charging as fast as it would when the phone is off or in the black screen mode so this is quite a very good uh, setup and uh, and the uh, workaround if you're using a lab dock and you want to basically uh, preserve the lab dock battery for longer time for you to do work instead of nearly a lot of battery life of the lab dock you're sacrificing to charge your phone when the phone screen goes on off on off here you go thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know comment section below what you think about all this setup and i'll see you in the next one bye bye